Hi, everyone. Welcome. Who is excited to be here today for the Harmony One event? Yes. It's so nice to see everyone in person, see all these faces. We're so excited to kick off this day of amazing talks. Um, our first uh, presenter on stage is the reason we are all here. Uh, so please join me in welcoming Stephen. He's the founder of Harmony. Uh, he's going to come on stage and he's going to give a presentation on the 100 DAOs that are being built on Harmony, um, as well as the multi-chain future of Web3. So please join me in welcoming Stephen to the stage and enjoy his presentation. One thing that bothers me about the future is this. I really thought we'd have flying cars and hoverboards by now. That's okay. There's lots of other cool things. Robots that can make cocktails and all the information in the universe at the end of one little finger. But I don't know. I kind of still want more. And now. Degrees. Right here. We can have it. Degrees. Still looking very good. Here go. We all live on one spinning ball of madness, pumping through the universe out of control, heading into the vast unknown. Or are we? Maybe not. Maybe we had one single vision, one dream, one plan to turn our ideas into reality. We focused our energy like Bruce Lee's one-inch punch, and yeah, we took a few shots. But Mr. Mather said, you only get one, and we're not going to miss our chance. And like Miss Earhart's one flight across the Atlantic, we charged our engines and we flew. Retro. Go. Righto. Go. Go. In a world full of dissonance, it's time for some harmony. Our adventure begins in three, two, one. Three, two, one! Good morning, everyone. First, I really want to welcome all the industry leaders and our ecosystem partners for joining us today. What a great year for Web3 and Harmony. DeFi finally become the product market fit for billions of dollars and even NFT become a household word my mom will ask me about. But what we are most exciting is how DAO is becoming the future of work and social. And today, I want to tell you how our story starts. Just a few weeks ago in Lisbon, we announced the 300 million ecosystem fund into the 100 DAOs. The research style that we started already have multiple top academic professors being the governors, giving out grants to students, having the stipends for travel, and really thinking about the fundamental research we still need to do, having the right set of building block that the students will become. And our wallet DAO already have done the multiple security audits and pushed it through most of all open source, all the research and source code, even the mobile client source code. So that there are now three mobile clients launching with the authenticate-based authentic smart contract wallet that we started. Our top down approach is having the liquidity DAO doing thousands of these strategy bars across tens of these exchange to think about what is the organic way, having the aligned and open incentives to not just make money, but to bootstrap a product, to start a community around something that they will carry on and sustain. 
On the other hand, the bottom top approach that we take is having the basic income DAO, paying anyone $75 per hour globally for any at will contribution. Imagine that as basic income for anyone. That's the only way to grow the industry, to grow the pie, so that we know that it's not just me passing money to someone else and we just serving a few thousands users for a few products. But there's a new DAO that I'm super excited about that we'll be spending lots of time in coming months is a ZK DAO for zero knowledge proofs, for the cryptographic primitives, for privacy that we are still building. We think that there will be where the 100x innovation and the magical use cases are going to come in. There are still these universal constructs that will become the building block of Web3. And these are the six use cases that we have identified, most likely going to bring millions of users even in 2022 using zero knowledge proofs. The first one you may know is a ZK EVM that already used for rollups. We also have the fly client with the architecture for building interoperable bridges. What about the stateless client using the proof of proof of work? This sounds all fancy words that are already have prototypes on mainnet, and we need to bring it to more users. We've, we have known the research for decades. We have seen the prototypes on mainnet. We need to bring it to mainstream now. The second one is for the privacy, private coin mixer. The top one is the Ethereum Tornado Cash, already on Ethereum mainnet, with 35,000 users and 6 million revenue. Ethereum Foundation also started another project called Semaphore that allow anonymous authentication and voting. It works. How can we bring it to production so that all the Web2 login is not using your Apple ID or your Facebook password? If that works, why not? That will be where we really know that we don't need a big company to hold your private data, your password, and it works also anonymously. The last one is actually the fairness using verifiable delay functions. We think that VDF will be the primitives for many of the blockchain games and lotteries. It's going to be amazing that you don't need to trust your state government official and say that you won the lottery or you lose. You can actually verify it, it's transparent. It's going to be the primitive that they didn't think it was possible. Now it will be used everywhere before you know it. What about something called uh, MACI, minimal anti-collusion primitive or the infrastructure for building anything that have to give out grants at large scale? Something like a coin, they really worry and it happens about the collusion. Can we give out large scale grants even in the crypto cities way, but with what primitives is what will be possible next year? And we look forward to it. But let's always remind ourselves why we are building. It's not just for serving tens of thousands of traders and accumulating hundreds of billions of assets under lock up. We need to ask who are the most underserved that need the technology for. Which next crypto cities will be based? What do they use the technology in their day-to-day -day life? That's why today we're very excited to announce we give the grants of $2 million to our Africa DAO. Yay! <laughs> That's where the innovation is going to be most needed for. Whether for tracking the land registry or as simple as national identity, they needed it, they asked for it they will have the huge impact beyond what mobile and web would help them change their day-to-day. -day. And they already started. We only started a few weeks ago. We've been hatching out the grants and the proposal. 
we already started delivering the three months deliverables and milestones. They actually already planning the Ethereum Kenya, hosting it for the workshop and hackathons for the next one. They started an incubator in Uganda to bring in scholars so that instead of us telling about who should get the grants for the project you want to launch, these are the local people that would go do the hard work of working with the education and the journalists to bring out the story locally. Then they have the specific use case of biodiversity. They can use the NFT to track all these preservation effort, environmental changes. Wouldn't that be great? How about the better half of the human populations? We also started, not we, the, our community, uh, someone just come up with this idea with a group of people they believe they want to work with called the H-E-R, Her Dao. For collective women, they identify themselves as women. Transgender, lesbian, does not matter or even for the non-binary gender. That's what I learned. They call it the woman with an X. That's what I'm going to tell my daughters to join first. They think that this is not just for inclusion and diversity, so that we have more people to come to conference with or celebrate with. This is for the social fairness that go beyond of the day-to-day -day interaction. Women don't even apply for the grants. They don't even know they're being allowed to or ask for or be part of the initiative. We want to think not just about the opportunities or the funding. We want to ask this to be the creator of the future. If we think that blockchain is the building block for the new economy and the product that will be used by, not just by the roomful of us here, we want them to be the creator that takes their own idea I wouldn't know this term of woman over eggs, right? They need to tell us that they would be driving the story. So hopefully our next big event at East Denver, they will bring all these community members who will celebrate with them. That will be the great story, not just about the scholar of the newcomers, but really the big part of our life that they will be driving now instead of us telling the story. As you see now, we've been giving out grants, but doing it a little bit differently. We understand the long-term aspect of being open. I grew up with Linux, mailing lists. We saw how Ethereum have more than just the application or the asset. It's really about what they call the infinite garden of the community that they build together. We strongly believe no matter what we do, whatever traction that we want, we have to do it in the open because that's the only sustainable way. So much so that we have a website, harmony.one slash funding, that disclose all this funding. We negotiate the terms in the open on our forum. We tell people how much every project receives. Most of all, we standardize all these to tell them these are the impacts you should make, these are the metrics that will come to the next stage because they love it. It's not about how the core team think the guidelines should be, it's about how everyone think that it's not just for a small group of people, you don't need to ask for permission. Even more radically, we have another site called harmony.one slash partners. We want to do business development in the open. We call it the handshake and embrace. That's how the Harmony logo started four years ago, that we want to be serious, even to the last level of building partnership, having marketing campaign, having this liquidity campaign, even though it involves millions of dollars. We think that the core team or the community started the story, but there's still so much to come. You have to write it down. Instead of having a Zoom calls, we do long form writing. Instead of having a back channel, we think what you write on will be the repetition of the project that we collectively build. So that years later, people will look back and say, you have done it right, you have done it wrong, but I want to be part of it. 
So with all these projects, we're very proud that uh, we can be part of it. Um, but most of all, we drive their formation, we drive their initiatives, we, we, we track the deliverables all in the open. That's something that cross-chain, cross-community that we can help be part of. Now, that's where the big slide is. People ask in 2022, what would be the Web3 thesis? What should we still build? Masari actually put it right. They said NFT infrastructure, DAO tooling, and interoperable bridges. How can Harmony be part of it? Well, I'm not going to go through each of the terms and numbers here. That's why the rest of the talks are our engineers, and we would love to um, talk to you and answer your story. Most of all, after this keynote, maybe ask me about what I think about Solana, Avalanche. I want to learn from you. We need to build this together, right? All this comparison is not because we think that we are better or like we are the only one doing this. It's because we can do this together with better information, more informed research, and open, in, open sharing. So for the rest of the day, we're going to go through many of these ideas to tell you what is our approach, how can we be part of the story. But I want to highlight a few points so that you come away, remember three things. Why it is still so critical to build infrastructure. What are the technical innovations going to come in in 2022? How can we build the cross-chain EVM ecosystem together? How do we differentiate bridges with roll-ups, with all this ZK versus optimistic way of data availability? The fun thing is, how can we have all this asset and application and users oriented on Ethereum come to Harmony, but also be able to connect to any other chain, even like Bitcoin? Can, and we have been talking about for years, Bitcoin lending or collateralization happen trustlessly? We think that being able to connect proof of work to proof of stake chain through a trustless bridge it's going to be one of the key innovations how many want to bring. Because we have been doing research on something called the fly client, using the Merkle mountain range to think about much more efficient ways so that you have much shorter withdrawal for time and fees. It's going to be so important. We are waiting for Ethereum 2 and Ethereum 1.5. It's going to be here soon, right? How does all this technology work? It's actually become even more technical. I would say even, even crazier then zero knowledge proof to be able to have the right narrative to tell the developer. The great thing is our block time is getting faster from two seconds to one second soon, and six minute withdrawal time for our bridge is very difficult to achieve as a finality. And we'll be launching soon. Yeah. So with that, I would love, want to show you one, one video. There's a revolution happening right in front of our eyes that will radically change the world around us. And it all began with one simple idea. If you want to live in a world that you love, you must build it. It started as a spark, and the world let it spread like wildfire. An anonymous coder built a trillion dollar network to be a store of value. A 21 year old hacker launched an infinite machine in a global community of dreamers. These dreamers are the future. Their collective hearts beat to the same drum. They believe in radical social change. One where trust is not needed to participate. One where everyone can sing in harmony. As builders, we stand stronger together. It takes momentum to build radical fairness and radical opportunity for 10 billion people. That's the future we envision. And we will be the ones to build it. For the future, you have to build it. That's the story and that's the love letter um, we have in Lisbon. We came back there so energized.
because this is a video we dedicate to all the Web3 builders in this room before more to come. We really think that these are the, the dreamers are the future, and the collective hearts beat to the same drum. They believe in radical social change. One more. The new creator economy isn't built with walls. It's connected by bridges. It's a giant social experiment on how to build wealth. We don't need permission to participate. We just need the desire to create something bigger than ourselves. We are in the midst of radical change. And with radical change will come radical markets. Markets that don't care where you come from, what race you are, what your past is. All that matters is what you can create. The community that supports me gets to live in my world, see what I see. By removing barriers and building bridges, we can create wealth in harmony. That's it. If there's one message that hopefully next year when I see you, I want you to remember how to create wealth together. In harmony, but the lowercase. Lowercase harmony with the world at large, with the people of your community. This is a video we show at Times Square because there's so many musicians, artists come to New York and Miami to ask what NFT is, how they can be part of it. Every day, there's still friends that ask me not to buy a coin, not about what Harmony is, but how they can be part of the Web3. We really believe that the community that supports me get to live in my world, see what I see by removing barriers and building bridges. And that's why we need to build together. And that's not it. We want to do, and we have done, we want to do more of these creative campaigns. Join our Creative DAO. That's where they have fun about. All these campaigns and stories is the only way to go mainstream. Not on Twitter about shooting each other down. Not about even telling them what the technical difference is. It should be the time to tell the story to understand why we need a radical way, a different platforms. In particular, we have all these campaigns before, Harmony as one future and keep building, keep building bridges. Because to be able to go mainstream, they need to know why. And the last reason that you have seen the recurrent theme to be is for me to ask you, what is the radical social change? that you want to bring. Not radical in terms of violence or like disruption. Radical means fundamentally different. If you have a chance to build it again, what would be the primitives that you bring? What are the new community that you can help form? So that's it for today. The talk is actually on our side and hopefully I capture most of it. Just want you to remember that today is a time to celebrate together as the end of the year. So enjoy.